No, I yeah. think it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And seeing it now in the way that Mike's cut it back in again, what does that give you that you didn't have in the version of the film that everyone else knows about? Well, it was always a sort of truncated um, episode. I mean, it, it was leading up to something, and you never quite knew what it was. OK, the, the nuns are freaking out, but, you know, we, we'd, I think we'd had a hint of that before. But in this sequence, they, they, it's as though they've been exploited to the point of, you know, absolute total blasphemy of their religion. And um, that, that's what the authorities wanted. And that's what eventually led to the destruction of the city. So I think, you know, it's, it's a terribly important sequence. And, and the fact that it is sort of mind-blowing and appalling is, is, was, my, was what I was trying to get at. The scene portrays blasphemy. It is not a blasphemous scene. I feel it is totally integral to the film because it is part of an entire sequence in which he intercuts the blasphemous uh, behavior at the exorcism with uh, this very religious and richly spiritual scene. Uh, it portrays blasphemy against, in the best sense of the word, a true spiritual enrichment and plays one off against the other and gives the contrast. If the scene were done completely by itself without the intercutting of Grandier saying mass, I honestly don't know what I'd say. <laughs> uh, I would say there's a scene in The Exorcist that comes closer to the Rape of Christ than that, where you have the girl with the, uh, using, virtually using the crucifix as a dildo. I mean, that's my idea of the Rape of Christ. I would think far more disturbing uh, theologically and religiously, but very effective, are those imaginations of Mother Joan of the Angels, where she is imagining the crucifixion, that Oliver Reed as Father Grandier is Jesus walking towards her. So those manifestations of religious mania seem to me far more subtle and more disturbing than just simply a couple of minutes of grand mass hysteria. I understand Ken being very upset about its being cut because it is the center of the film. It shows that they are going to use against him things that he's no longer guilty of. And uh, Ken, of course, believing in redemption, would say that he has redeemed himself. But they don't want to know about a grandee who has redeemed himself because that doesn't suit their purposes. They're going to use him as a scapegoat. I'd be very happy to see all the shots that were taken out restored. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Souvenir. Also included in that newly discovered roll of film was another less spectacular but equally significant censored scene from The Devils in which Sister Jeanne consummates her perverted lust for Grandier by masturbating with one of his charred bones, the only physical contact she will ever have with the priest. It is a very, very terrifying sequence as written and naturally as filmed. I don't think it was done with anything that wasn't just simply an accounting of that fact. A very pitiful, terrifying fact that Sister Jeanne took this bone and she was fucking herself with it. And um, I thought that that was, a, was quite frightened of the sequence, but at the same time I thought that expresses in the most pitiful way the depths of her dementia and the depths of our need for humanity. There's a feeling of being afraid of something, of a backlash of some kind of anti-Catholic suggestion in those scenes, when in fact what we're seeing is the perversion of Catholicism, the perversion of what Grandier represents, which is a, a more liberal kind of Catholicism, which would allow some flexibility, even a little carnality perhaps, but I suppose there's nothing, you know, too subtle about a sort of a, a naked nun waggling her breasts in front of the camera, you know, I mean, it's, even though it's in the course of art. I don't understand this ludicrous idea that you can try and control what people think, what people see, what people read. I mean, it, well, you, well, you finish up with bloody Nazi Germany. You know, it has been damaged. It's damaged goods. I think every director should have the right for their film to be shown 
the way they wanted it to be seen. You don't cut off bits of people's paintings or suddenly take a movement out of a piece of music or cut an act from a play. So why do you have to cut bits out of films to please the powers that be? There are some things which are not permissible in a civilized society, but that is so mild, so inoffensive. I think a film can't be special without the, the conception of the story and the conception of the cinematography, of the camera setups, of the lighting, of the environment. Without it all coming to make a single whole. And sometimes, even with wonderful people, they, for whatever reason, don't succeed in making a single whole. And in the case of the devils, I think all the people who took part in it around Ken um, and including the actors did contribute to making a single whole masterpiece. Yes, it is a film which is extreme. Yes, it is a film which is hysterical. But it is hysterical for a purpose. And it is a film which is a film. It's not a film primarily about words. It's a film about choreography. It's a film about design. It's about visual things and the combination of those images with music in a way which is blended so perfectly that it just sucks you in, chews you up and spits you out at the other end. Whatever your feelings are about the evils of mainstream cinema, it's hard not to despair of a world in which it's considered perfectly acceptable for popular filmmakers to blow things up in ever more spectacular fashion, but a director who addresses issues of political, sexual and religious corruption in a manner which is both serious and dramatically engaging simply has his work cut to ribbons by people who don't understand its significance. Well, they're just a bunch of cunts, aren't they? They can't take the pace. I would say to them, you haven't changed a bit, boys. You're still a load of crap. And you can see the film itself next, here on 4. Thank you.